What is 8 times 9? Leave your answer in the comments section below. Now since I have your attention, what is up guys? And today I'm bringing you guys some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. This right here is a flawless free-for-all with the AK-47 with suppressor and heartbeat sensor. Two attachments I don't normally use on this gun, but I'm just trying to get the challenges done so I can level up the gun even faster than it already is considering this double weapon XP. So yeah. Um, what I want to talk about today, uh, before I get into the topic, let me cover one more thing. I will put my weekly stats for the, uh, I believe today is day four? Today is the, yes, day four of my weekly stats series that I'm doing this week. And in case someone is not, I don't know where you guys have been, maybe you guys haven't been watching my recent videos, but I am going to post... At the end of every single day, uh, my weekly KD and weekly win-loss, just to show you guys how I'm doing, and um, pretty much I'm going to be trying as hard as I can this week and see how high I can get my weekly KD and weekly win-loss. So now since that's out of the way, um, well, actually one more thing to add on to that is that I actually took two losses today, and they were both because of um, people uh, disconnecting on me, so truthfully, uh, I haven't lost yet. And I'm still on my win streak, and uh, we're keeping it alive, and uh, you guys will be able to see it at the end of this game. But enough about that, and yes, let's get into this. Um, what I want to do this commentary about today is how I got into YouTube and pretty much how I started YouTube. Uh, this right here is a history lesson, so bring out the pens, pencils, and paper, and uh, write some stuff down, alright guys? No goofing around the back of the class. Alright, so let's get into this, shall we? So, pretty much how I got into YouTube. Before we get into that big whole pile of mess, um, let's get into how I got into Call of Duty in general. Um, without getting into my whole history of gaming, um, Call of Duty was my very first game that I actually played a decent amount. Um, I start, My very first Call of Duty was Modern Warfare 2, although I was really late to the scene. I got the game on Christmas Day. I was a Christmas noob for Modern Warfare 2, but I never played it until like the past, like, or the last uh, three years. I think it was the last three months of the game is when I actually started playing the game. It just sat there unwrapped for the longest period of time until uh, my friend who I met uh, in high school showed me uh, what PlayStation Network Online is. I was like, holy Christ, there's an online version of this? That's amazing. And uh, that's when I got into Call of Duty. Um, I pretty much have to say thanks to him, uh, my friend Taylor Cole, or T-Fizzle, he pretty much got me to where I am today. If it wasn't for him, I would not be doing this, and I really do have to, you know, thank him for that, considering this is um, some of the most fun that I've had on the internet, and I think out of anything I've ever done, and it's amazing the fact that I get to, you know, communicate with all these other people, but without getting into that whole uh, mushy shit, uh, let's get on with what I was saying. Um, so, like I said, he got me into Call of Duty from Modern Warfare 2, and he showed me this whole entire YouTube scene to Call of Duty, which I was unaware of. I had no idea that people posted videos of Call of Duty uh, gameplay and commentaries and montages or any of that stuff um, about the video game. I was like, wow, I was amazed. And then over time, um, I just started you know, going on YouTube more and more and you know, um, watching some different videos by some different people. And then I started subscribing to people. And people like Wings of Redemption, Nanners, Hutch, those are the guys that got me in the Call of Duty. Um, I thought it was really cool that, you know, you could post your own videos on the, you know, internet, on YouTube, and just, you know, talk and, or say whatever you want on them, and, you know, I always wanted to do that, and that's pretty much how it all started, um, during Black Ops, that Christmas of Black Ops, I got, um, my HD PVR, cause that's what I was asking for, cause I wanted to make videos of my own, and do commentaries of my own, which I've came such a long way from. Looking back at some of my really, really old videos, I was a terrible commentator. Not saying I'm the best now, but I really do feel like I've, uh, you know, improved on my commentaries. And, you know, just the way I speak, I speak more fluently. And, you know, my grammar and punctuation is a lot better. Along with the fact that I'm a lot more mature than I used to be. I used to be really immature and a really annoying voice. And, you know, overall, from the feedback I've gotten from people over time, it seems like I really have improved, which I'm, you know, really happy about that. And, um, getting off track, so let's get back on track, shall we? Um... Yeah, and that's pretty much how I got into YouTube. Um, just looking up to other people on YouTube and wanting to do it myself. Uh, when I first made this channel, and um, I was pretty much 
the whole channel, like, it was pretty much based upon, you know, how to be better at the game. I wanted to, you know, teach people tips, tricks, and, you know, how to get a high kill death ratio, because I was all about the KD back then, you know. But over time, up to now, you know, I've switched uh, to more of a win-loss style, and showing you guys how to win and do good at the same time. Um, that's pretty much what I base my channel upon, is my stats, and, you know, how I do well at the game, and trying to teach you guys the same way. Now, not every gameplay I break down and stuff like that, but, you know, um, I hope you guys pick up tips or you guys see what I'm doing properly in games. Maybe you guys can invert it into your games yourself. But other than that, guys, that is my story of how I got into YouTube. Final score 30-0. Moab the bitches. Peace.